Hey guys, this is Karina with the Score Esports, and here I am with Xpeki after the first match back on stage. Mm -hmm. So great to see you playing again. It was a win, actually. So tell me, how does it feel to be back on the stage? And I have a feeling that's a bit earlier than you expected. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. When when I said I wanted to play, I never meant like in the regular season, especially like two or three weeks before playoffs. I meant more like on playoffs. But yeah, um, unluckily Tristan got really sick. And he asked me if I, could, if I could play and, well, honestly, I was not too confident, but I was like, well, if you're really sick, I can play, okay, but let's see how you feel. And the problem is yesterday, one day before, he was like, I'm feeling super bad, you know, he couldn't even stand up from the sofa and he's like, okay, I practice. And yesterday I was practicing and I didn't feel too confident on myself, but I used to stay up all night playing solo queue and I was like, okay, tomorrow my goal is not to let the team down, right? So I just played solo queue all night and uh, yeah, I was pretty nervous about my performance today. And one, once the game started, it was like always. I felt really, really, really happy to be playing on stage. It's like so much better than anything else. And and yeah, I was kind of confident as the game was progressing as well, which is really good. Well, uh, this is interesting. Is there any high effect? Like, you know, in Cloud9, high comes back to the team, they start winning. Do you think it's kind of this that you're, you being back on the roster gives like a bit of confidence boost? Maybe, maybe yes, maybe not. I, I guess, I mean, it must be happy for for me. It is, I feel really happy to play against with the guys. I suppose for them it's kind of the same because we had a really good year last year and maybe playing against with me, regardless of performance, must be like kind of motivating for them as well, especially if they know I'm, if they know my level is not the same, and I'm trying my hardest, maybe it's like even more motivating for them. So maybe we have that effect. Maybe not. We will have to see because it's only one game. I could, I could get extremely lucky. <laughs> but yeah, I, I feel like the, everyone, the mood was kind of good during the game and during before the game, and yeah, all the time. So this was good. So did you see, uh, do some like serious shot calling and did you call some fights? I mean, in the end, the game was not super clean. So maybe you could also talk a little bit through the mistakes that were made. Yeah, at some point I derp really hard because when you when you play a lot, you're used to every situation and every champion and when you can get caught and where not. And in this game, I was playing really careful. But uh, like th there were two actions, like the action on bot lane. It was, I mean, I knew I knew it was bad, so it's not like a bad action, but we were really wanting to fight. So I just, it's like, okay, if we're gonna fight, we have to kill Destral. So I just flashed in but and died, which was not the best, but it was one, one for two, I think. And then the last, that they almost tried to end, it was like on me that I got caught. Because in these situations, since I haven't played that much, it's like, I know he will ulti me, and I was thinking, I was telling Maurice to stay in the middle, but then I saw Maurice was like, Staying moving and staying moving, he was like hesitant and I got really scared. So instead I was a bit nervous and then instead I, I could just flash, but I didn't flash. I stayed there. Then they hit me and killed me and I was thinking, oh, I, I just lost the game completely. But but that, that, that was, those were the only two points I felt I like misplayed individually. And for the rest, I feel like as a team, we had a few of bad moments, but overall we played really good knowing that they were stronger, just avoiding team fights and stuff. And I, I, felt, I felt really good with the game. It's just mistakes that we will have to improve, obviously, but I felt like we were confident while playing the whole game. Can you tell me um, in which play, like where is Origin right now? Because you had a kind of heartbreaking performance, let's say so, at IEM. Mm -hmm. And right now is half of the team, as I realized from the guys, are sick. So <laughs> what is happening in the team house? Yeah, P Poland was maybe not the best for us. Uh, it's like when we were right there, right the day we were leaving, I arrived and and I see everyone at the living room before taking the taxi and they are like, one guy's sick, one guy's coughing, the other guy's like on the sofa listening to music, looked like he was going to die too. <laughs> and yeah, on the flight when we arrived there, uh, not everything, everything that could go wrong went wrong kind of. Like we had the schedule moved, we didn't have practice the first hours. Then when we had practice, we had no internet, so we had to, to wait. And the team was, they were really sick and they were also getting like bad mood because of this. And I feel like, with the mood the team had at that moment and the, and everyone being sick, it was really hard for us to actually win. I was surprised that it was close, that we almost won. And and yeah, everyone after uh, IEM was coming back home really sick, really with headaches. You could see Tristan was even the worst of the team. And I feel like, yeah, it was a tough tournament for us, but that doesn't mean it will affect us. Hopefully it will affect us in a positive way. Well, one of the positive things is like seeing you back on the stage, obviously. <laughs>
Uh, can you tell me a little bit about practicing like meta picks and how good you are with what's OP right now? I mean, you you mentioned a few times that you haven't been playing actually that much. Hmm. Yeah, I was a bit lost. I, in previous weeks, I was practicing even with the team, some games a day or some blocks. But yeah, the, the last week we wanted to practice hard for IM, right? So I didn't play a single game with them. And even this week with IM, we had only like two or three days of practice. And the first two days, Tristan played because we thought he would recover and feel fine, but he didn't. So I just had one day of practice. And I was, I'm really, I'm a person that is confident once I play a champion a few times. But obviously, it was really hard because I only had one day to play. And I know there are so many OP champions. Like there is Corky, there is Queen, there is uh, even LeBlanc, Twisted Fate, Asir is being played now. You can play so many things that I was like, what do I play? You know, what? I need to play a few champions. Which ones are the best? Because I know some champions I can play really good are like not so meta pick right now. So I was really scared that I would not be able to perform on these champions. But with a few games, I get really confident and I try my hardest <laughs> and it went well. Well, uh, congratulations on that win. So there is another game tomorrow. So hopefully you also do well so Hopefully. <laughs> so thanks very much and best of luck tomorrow thank you guys